This is a video I know a lot of you guys are going to enjoy regardless of what it is I do because so many of you guys have been asking for me to create a video again like this. In today's video, guys, we are bringing back the LS400. But just stay tuned, guys, because I have some explaining to do. But first, before we get into that, I've been cleaning out my entire garage the past two weeks now, trying to get ready for the move. So for those of you guys who don't know, we are moving um, at the end of March and I'm getting actually a bigger shop, more working space. I hope you guys are excited because I know damn well I am, but let me show you guys everything we have before we get the Lexus pulled in. All right guys, so here we go. Got everything cleaned out, everything organized. A lot of this stuff is for sale. Um, so I'll kind of quickly just go through everything, but yeah, everything, everything that needed to be trashed was trashed. Everything that we need is all organized from tools to taillights, to steering wheels, to headlights, to my, uh, more tools, to exhaust. Today, I went ahead and cleaned all this, got the whole bench work, uh, organized, got all of that stuff shelving over there organized. I have my old rear lip kit and side skirts. Those are for sale. The G35 headlights are for sale. Those are for sale. Um, don't think I'm gonna be selling the steering wheels just because you never know. Maybe we'll be putting them back on. I have quite a few exhausts. I have this one. This was on my car for like maybe, maybe a month, if that. Um, I have two sets of brand new mufflers as well. These are literally brand new, never been installed. These are burnt tips. Uh, those are 4.5 inches, possibly even five inches, pretty big. And then those are four inches. So if any of you guys find any of that interesting and you want them, comment down below and let me know. But yeah, guys, we still have some cleaning to do. I still gotta kinda go through all of this. And then we have everything up here. I also have uh, three, let's see, we should have three. We have two G35 front lip kits right there. We have my old front bumper with a lip kit on it. I have a LS400 front bumper and a LS400 rear bumper over here, right here. So right here we have the rear bumper. Um, comment down below if you guys want any of this. I prefer not to ship just because it is a hassle. So for those of you guys who would like me to ship, I do apologize. But uh, if any of you guys would find any of this you know, useful to you and you guys would like it and you're local in the OC area, comment down below and let me know. So let's go and drive down to the LS Runner because she's parked a little bit of ways away. We are going to need some jumper cables because she's dead. She dies because I don't drive it. So, um, oh my gosh. All right, this should be fine. Yeah, she's dead because I don't drive the car, guys. Um, so it just sits, so it doesn't allow it to be charged at all. So, <sighs> yeah, so I need to start letting that run. That way she uh, can build her charge back up. But uh, let's go ahead and throw these bad boys in the trunk right here. All right, put those in there. Hint that new exhaust. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. All right, guys. Oh, y'all. Air her up a little bit and let's go. doesn't look like anybody messed with her so that's good so yeah guys she's she's dirty that's for sure we need to definitely give her a nice wash but she does start up right away so that's good while we're letting um, the car charge let me go ahead and kind of explain what it is that's going on so we're gonna be making a little serious today is 
Monday. So for the next week, um, I'm gonna make a little series for the LS. We're gonna kind of put the G35 on hold um, because I need to get some stuff cracking with this car and the reason for it, um, because we are moving, unfortunately, I don't have the space or the money to, to afford this car right now or to even store it anywhere. So I have a guy coming out on Sunday. So to most of you guys, this should be no surprise. I've been talking about it on my Instagram. I've mentioned it a few times on my channel. And um, I don't want to sell this car, guys, because this car means the world to me. It really does, believe it or not, more than the G35. But I need to let it go. And why keep, why keep the G35 over this? Well, one, the G35 saves me a lot more gas. That's the reason why I got the G35. Um, but I have somebody coming out on Sunday. It sucks. I don't know if he's going to take it or not. But pretty much this series is getting the car ready for him to make it a little bit more presentable. So when we get the car in the garage, uh, we'll kind of just go over everything it is that I need to do. So let's go ahead and she, see if she starts up. There she is, guys. Neighbor helped me out, went ahead and put some starter fluid in it. She's good. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we, we could put some gas in there, but all right, we should be good. So I'm gonna drive this back, walk back, and then we'll drive this back. All right, guys. going back to the garage. We're stuck. Oh, that's embarrassing. We literally got stuck. And my neighbor's right there. And I got stuck in front of him. <laughs> All right, guys, girlfriend called me, got a little interrupted, but, oh my God, this car is a freaking yacht. All right, I think that's as far back as we can go. I think I'm gonna keep it running for a little bit. Um, I don't want to kill it yet, because then I already know it's not gonna start. Oh, we could just re jump start it. I should go buy start fluid just so I have that. But um, pretty much, uh, let's go over everything that we need to do to this before we do sell it. All right, so one thing I want to go ahead and do is clean up. Oh, why focus? Why are we not focusing? There we go. I just want to clean up the interior. Uh, it's not bad at all, but I just want to get it a little cleaned up. Like I said, it's really not bad at all, but I want to get that cleaned up. Um, he likes the 326 wing, so the 326 wing will most likely be going back on. I want to do a little bit of body working on the rear bumper. Um, I'm going to fix this. This, this little thing just kind of came out. Um, so I want to fix that. I have a little bit of overspray right here, but this literally, it comes off, so I want to get that fixed. Um, the big one is I'm going to raise up the front because it's insanely low. Um, so we're going to take care of that and then overall just pretty much clean the car up. Um, and that's pretty much about it. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. Really just basically get the car looking good. Oh, and then, um, the big one, since we're not bagged anymore, I'm going to, um, close these up right here, close those up. So I'm gonna weld on a plate over that and then detail the engine bay as well. And pretty much check the fluids, probably do an oil change on it, or at least give him my filter. Cause I have a brand new filter and everything for this car already. Um, but here she is boys. She has not been in the garage. It seems like in a pretty good minute. So yeah, it hurts to do this, but you know, we have to do what we have to do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this heavy duty pro strength degreaser. So let's go ahead and just 
let that kind of sit there for a second this stuff usually is really really good i've had no problems with it i absolutely love this stuff we may have to yeah most likely we're gonna have to wet sand it see it comes off oh, it's just complicated it does come off as you can see um so we'll just have to keep doing that what i'll probably do is take my clay bar to that and just start clay barring it let's try that and there you go so that spot is removed so i just took the clay bar and that degreaser and it came right off probably the whole car needs to be clay barred but i don't know if we'll do that also i want to paint this black the centerpiece black just so it looks a little bit more presentable i think right now guys i'm actually going to raise up the front end because i would like to drive this car at least one more time before i get rid of it um so i think we're gonna try to get this front end raised up real quickly because i'm actually supposed to be somewhere in about an hour or two um so i kind of want to get this done so let's try to get this on the on some boards get her jacked up and wheels pulled off and see what we got to do to for the coils i know i have to pull out the bonnet bolt pretty much drop the perch which will raise the front so let's go ahead and get that done all right guys got it on jack stands let's go ahead and get the wheels pulled off and uh, just for those of you guys that don't know, we are on BC coils. These things are brand freaking new, literally brand new. <laughs> Woo. I am exhausted already. It's pretty warm out here in California. So let's go ahead and get the wheels off though, guys. And uh, get that bottom bolt pulled out. Like I said, I got a piece somewhere. So I got to be like this right now. I got to be quick. Let's go ahead and get this done. All right, we got it off the stands, but it's on wood right now. So let's go ahead and... Uh, back her up hopefully it starts <laughs> should but then again i said that earlier cool so let's go ahead now get her backed up and hopefully the stance is good every time i'm recording my girlfriend freaking calls me all right let's try this again front is good now i think i need to raise up the rear definitely uh, as you can see we're tucking and then we're not but that's good that's that's a nice height um now the rear end is too far down <laughs> so now we just got to raise up the rear um but we'll do that later today probably i am going to drive the car right now i'm meeting with my girlfriend like i said so um yeah i'll get like a shot of me kind of driving the car but i'm happy so now that's good so like i said yeah we just need to raise up the front just a little bit more um damn that that went up honestly a lot more than i thought i was hoping it was gonna match the front and maybe go to like here but it is what it is so cool you can see that rear head needs to come up <laughs> um it's all right dude if i was keeping this car i would probably lower the rear front end just a little bit and then poke those wheels out a crazy amount there she is we actually took her out <laughs> all right guys so i'm actually here at work now i'm gonna go ahead and close this video out here so i can finish editing it and get it uploaded <laughs> um so pretty much stay tuned because we still got to raise up the rear end uh, paint the grill, um, finish off those shock towers like I showed you guys, um, detail the engine bay, um, the exterior, the interior. I want to, um, <clears throat> what else did I want to do? 
that's pretty much about it actually i believe just pretty much get the car presentable uh an oil change i want to go ahead and do that or at least add oil and then give the new oil filter that i have to the new owner so they can do it um so stay tuned and uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys enjoy this series of the ls 400 i know a lot of you guys been asking for it it sucks it's under these circumstances of me selling the car but um it is what it is it's still pretty bittersweet but hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up if you did until next time guys i'm like over my shoulder like what what <laughs> until next time guys as always peace out